Welcome back to part 4. If you haven't seen the first 3 videos in this series, I recommend watching those first. To recap, in the last 3 videos, we defined and made astronomical parallels to why God's children are compared to as sheep in the Bible, and why God Almighty is known as the Good Shepherd. We also discussed that as sheep, you must belong to either a Good Shepherd or a Neglectful Shepherd as well as understanding that we cannot rest unless we are under the care of a present and caring shepherd who is in control and that striving to be successful amongst others in the world or reach status is simply nothing but vanity and is quickly forgotten and done for nothing when the shepherd is present being that he is the boss and the leader caretaker and protector for all in his herd and finally we realize that there is an innate quench for God among all those in the world however there is a group of sheep who remain satisfied with dirty water, being that it was easily attainable and refused instruction, leading them to the pure waters, and a group of sheep who are led by the Good Shepherd to quench their thirst and rid them of hunger and are forever content. This brings us to a question that may arise. What about the sheep who are lost, partake of the dirty water, and are then found and adopted by the Good Shepherd to restore their soul and quench their thirst? Some sheep, of course, will always be dirty water drinkers. However, those sheep whom are lost and belong in the little flock will be called out among them and guided into the herd. Under the watch of a neglectful shepherd, a sheep not only will drink of dirty water, have countless fights with other sheep for dominance, lack rest, but also they are subject to being cast. You see, when a sheep is cast, it means that they have fallen and simply cannot get up on their own. If the shepherd is neglectful and not on watch, the sheep will die in a short amount of time, if not lifted back upward. The sight of it is quite pathetic, actually. Not only do they lay there completely helpless, with only the hope of their shepherd to save them, they also become easy prey to predators to snatch them up defenseless. How many times in your life have you fallen down, feeling as though there was no hope to get back up? Life consistently throws obstacles in our path and oftentimes these obstacles knock us out cold for a while, leaving us so helpless and exhausted we become prey to an array of evil. You may be thinking to yourself, is it because I'm weak that I'm knocked down? It happened so many times in my life, I must not be as strong as I think I am. Interestingly enough, the fattest and healthiest sheep are the most prone to becoming cast. But how does a sheep become cast, helpless, and so close to death in the first place? Well, you see, in a field, a sheep will look for the most comfortable and softest ground with nice and relaxing round hollows to rest. Typically, the most comfortable areas in our life can be the most dangerous. Because the ground is so soft and round, the sheep cannot get up and actually ends up rolling over on its back, subject to death. Typically, the most comfortable areas in our life can be the most dangerous. Humans as well as sheep always look for the easiest, most comfortable place to reside. One that requires no hardship or self-discipline to incur growth. This is a snare that will entrap any whom it is willing to devour. As well as finding easy, comfortable ground to reside, another factor that leads to cast sheep is having too much wool. Wool that is not trimmed and remains thick and heavy is a parable for our outer man. If our outer man is exceeding our inner character that Christ has written on our heart, God will deal with you drastically. Clinging to possessions, status, pride, attitude, and striving for your own desires and fulfilling your own temptations will result in nothing but catastrophe. The wool, therefore, needs to be trimmed because it will always leave you cast and helpless, weighing you down and preventing you from the true spiritual growth you need. 